video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the brand new Rainbow High Doll release of the Fashion Studio playset, which includes the exclusive Avery Styles doll. I did have some issues with the previous playset that included the Amaya Rain doll, and you can check out that video. I will link it in the description below. But that one included a bunch of hair care products that I wasn't 100% thrilled with. This set is all about fashion. On the side of the box, it does list the contents, which include one doll, two wigs, five tops, two skirts, two dresses, one jacket, one hoodie, one pair of jeans, four pairs of shoes, nine hangers, five hairpins, four shoe boxes, one comb, one doll stand, and one clothing rack with which you can create 300 plus looks. The packaging is the same style as the previous Rainbow High Dolls I have unboxed and the playset. With a handle on top, a rounded see-through curve on the side, an illustration of all the dolls at the bottom, a display on the side featuring our wig and some hair accessories, on the back is the illustration of Avery, and on the bottom it reiterates that you can mix and match to create 300 plus looks. We've got some illustrations of these possible looks, including homecoming glam, casual for class, and hallway to runway. These dolls are not easy to unbox. You pretty much have to take apart all of the packaging to get to the items inside. It's not something you can easily take apart and put back together. So I will be putting this as usual on a time lapse. Also inside the packaging was some instructions, including how to assemble the doll stand, how to remove the wigs, and how to extend the rack to hold more hangers. And this is the rest of the contents. So she does come with a gold doll stand. Again, it says rainbow along the bottom. She comes with two wigs, one pink and one lavender. Both have sparkly tinsel throughout the wig. This one is actually quite soft. It doesn't really feel like there's any hair product in it, but her bangs, but the bangs got really smushed in the packaging. So I think I'm still gonna have to wash it or do something with these bangs so they're not so smushed looking. The wig that the doll is wearing does have hair product in the front pieces and it's created this little kink where the hair was held back. Um, it's really kind of, ridiculous how much hair product they put in these dolls hair I mean this this wig is straight I don't know why they needed to put hairspray in the front the way um, the bangs look fine although there is a little hair product in it but you can see this wig is lavender and the tinsel in her hair is a variety of colors it looks like we've got some yellow blues pinks purple kind of tinsel so very pretty colors the doll herself has really cute face. You know what, I'm gonna take off the wig so we can take a closer look at the face. And it should just pop off, let's see. Yep, there we go. So inside the wig you can see there is a little peg and that goes into the doll's head. The wig cap is plastic, and the wig cap itself is hidden pretty well by the hair, unlike some of the wigs we have seen in the past, specifically for Snap Stars and Creatable World. Now here she is without the wig, and again, I'm getting Snap Star feels here because her hair is a sculpted pixie cut in pink, and now we can get a better look at her face. Her skin tone is kind of a tan color. She's got an amazing amount of eyeshadow going on. 
it looks like a factory defect because it's it's much neater on this side than it is on this side. The yellow in her eyeshadow is smeared on this eye and is not on this eye. She's got on a kind of a heavy mascara look. And you can see here her cat eye is looking perfect and here it is smudged. So that is unfortunate. Um, she does have some pretty eyes, like the color. And again, she's got that shimmery highlight on her face. These dolls are articulated with movement at the neck, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, upper thigh, and knee. The dress is kind of a very similar style to the Amaya Rain Dolls dress, except hers was two pieces. This is one piece, but we've got that rainbow stitching. We've got the zipper detail in the front. We've got some buckle detail, some faux studs, faux pockets. Uh, Amaya Rain's dress was in white faux leather and two pieces. This is like an iridescent material. Very holographic kind of looking. It Velcros in the back and underneath. She is wearing a shirt that says rainbow. And these are the shoes that she comes wearing. Go height boots with some cool inner zipper detail. And it says rainbow along the top. And then the heels and soles are rainbow colored. Very, very skinny little heel that's kind of rubbery. Now she also comes with a gold comb and these little kind of mini bobby pins or hair pins, just the, these are the same hair pins that Amaya Rain came with, and these are the same combs that the other dolls came with, except in their signature colors that looks like Avery's signature color is gold because she can wear any color in the rainbow. Now this is the part that I'm most excited about, which is the clothing and shoe accessories, as well as the clothes rack and the shoe boxes. This is where I'm really all into this set. We'll start with the shoes and the shoe boxes. So this shoe box is actually empty. It's supposed to hold the shoes that she is currently wearing. And, oh, nice. It just has a little paperboard cut out in there right now. But these are a thick, clear plastic, like an acrylic almost, with a cool little RH rainbow high detail as if it has a clasp buckle or something gold details at the corners. Really love the way these look. Particularly like this trunk look for the boots. The shoes are actually held in by this plastic insert. These are rainbow shimmery boots. The one side says rainbow. Then we also have rainbow going across the toes. We have some cool inner zipper detail again and a thick black sole. Then we have this shorter size box to hold the smaller shoes. So we have this pair of sandals that have white strap detail with multicolored stars, pink soles. Again, I'm seeing some factory defects in the paint. And also one shoe is covered in glitter and the other is not, which is very strange. And this is loose glitter. It is coming off on my fingers, so this is very weird. And then we finally, we have this pair of shoes. We've seen this shoe mold uh, with one of the other dolls. Can't remember which one right now, but it is a chunky heeled, open toe shoe. We've got purpley ribbon straps and then little moon and star details on the heels. Then we have the clothing rack, which has working wheels. This great bottom does come off. It's made so you have a little shelf to hold the shoe boxes. And at the top, these do extend to hold more hangers, but if you pull them out too much, they will come out. Let's take a closer look at the pieces on the rack. As you can see, they're all rainbow hangers, including we have a black hanger, red, orange, yellow, blue, two purple, a pink, and a light pink. We'll start with this sequins jacket rainbow sequins with black trim and some faux zipper detail. On the red hanger, we have this little two-piece top 
it is kind of a bustier style top with clear plastic straps. Underneath is a white t-shirt with red trim that says sparkle. Other details on this bustier top layer is sparkle around the band and it kind of a leopard print on the bust cups. Our orange hanger holds a white top with an orange trim around the neck. It says anti-sparkle sparkle club in gold print. I believe Jade Hunter is the one that comes with this t-shirt, I think in black. On the yellow hanger, we have this adorable skirt. It has one of those cloth pieces underneath to keep the skirt from riding up too high. It's really cute. It's yellow with white ribbon trim and these cute little rainbow suspenders. Do the suspenders come off? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. They are real suspenders that actually can come off. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Oh my goodness. You can detach them or attach them. I don't know what else you would do with them, but they're so cute. That is adorable. And the skirt Velcro's in the back. That is so cute. On the blue hanger, we have some light blue denim looking pants. They do feel kind of like a jean material and these are basically the same jeans that Ruby has, except Ruby's are red with a gold paint detail on the front, and these are a light blue with silver. I love the stitching detail, the little belt loops, the faux snap in the front. Really, really cute. So here are our purple hangers. We have a, looks like a crop t-shirt. Purple and kind of a light lavender trim. Don't call me doll. It's pretty cute. That's what it says. Velcro's in the back. And then we have a satiny looking skirt that is also a lavendery purple color with some faux zipper detail on the sides. Velcro's in the back. And then we've got this kind of strap detail hanging down. In our like hot pink hanger, we have a very sparkly looking dress. It is a gauzy tutu layer on top of the skirt and then we've got a sequinsy dress underneath but this one has little pink ribbon straps and it velcros in the back i do not love this dress to be honest to me it looks more like some kind of 80s negligee or something i'm not loving this this is the first piece that i don't care for but to redeem it on the light pink hanger is an adorable little hoodie i love this hoodie Got a little hood in the back. It's like a faux hood with Velcros like this. I guess you could fit her hair through. Not really sure. Kind of wish this was a real hood and not whatever this is. This looks more like a headband, but I love the general look if the hood is down. Um, it's got little drawstrings that actually work. It says sparkle. Pink and white polka dots, really cute faux pocket detail in the front. Just really adorable with the details. So before I try these outfits on, I am going to wash these wigs. So here I have the wigs. I've washed them both, let them air dry. And you can see, this is why I don't like tinsel. We've got like pieces of tinsel just sticking out here. But this wig, oddly, feels thicker, as if this is a thicker root than the pink wig which is very strange. I mean, it's a very obvious difference. This just feels thinner. But this wig is actually much softer. Um, I think it's because there's less tinsel in this wig. I did wash it under hot water to try to get the kink out of the bangs, and I only kind of somewhat succeeded. I was a little concerned. I did not want to do a boil wash so close to the wig cap. This is kind of a malleable plastic. I wasn't really sure how that would go. Also with the tinsel, I don't, I kind of avoid boiling washing with, when you have metallic strands in the hair. So it still kind of has this little kink in it, like a, like a small crimp or something, but we'll see how that looks on the doll. So I would say I'm not happy with this wig. I think the bangs look like they are cut unevenly and I think they look as if they were cut too short. Um, I do like how soft 
the hair feels, but it's so short you can see her hairline. After comparing it to the promotional photos of what the wig should look like, I will have to say that the cut of the bangs in my wig must be a factory defect. It looks much better in the promotional photos. Now here we have her wearing the other wig, and despite the little tinsel pieces that are sticking up, this wig looks much better. This is the way the bangs should be. This is a much better length. And it also does a really good job of hiding the factory defect in her makeup. Now let's take a look at all of the clothing items. I really love the sequins jacket and how it fit. I wasn't in love with the bustier. I think the cups are too big. These t-shirts, you should note, are quite cropped. Loved these two outfits, super adorable. The dress looks better on her than I thought it would. But my favorites are the more casual looks. There was a problem with the rainbow t-shirt. If you can see, it's very hard to see because it's black material. But you can see we have a rough, unfinished edge here. And I think it is a factory defect because all the other t-shirts are finished on this edge might be easier to see on this white t-shirt here, but the edging of where it attaches to the Velcro is completely finished. So this is definitely a little defect, which is another thing of note. So thank you for joining me for this buyer's guide. Uh, despite the factory defects I've pointed out, I do like the doll. I like the concept a lot. I like the idea of the wigs. I think the general execution of the wigs is done well. I think the bangs and the hairline of the wig successfully hides the wig cap when the wig is cut properly. I do like the clothing overall. Overall, the quality is good, except for the things I pointed out. Um, I still like the doll's face molds. I think they're really cute. I do like their face paint in general, even though mine was messed up. And I like that the dolls are articulated, of course. But what do you think? Comment below.